This dog never looks for the judge to say go, just go. Nice one. Short skirts. Muscle and he needs good feed, good looking after. You need to take care of your dogs. And a lot of the dogs here have got good structures, but they don't have sufficient muscle or tone to keep the dog going. So it's very sad. They come in the ring, they really look nice until I put my hands on them. And it's it's not a it's not gonna work for them. You also need to look at the fronts. So when you're breeding these dogs. You look for powerful dogs that are going to set a good example. You need good, powerful fronts, muscle. The rear must be nice and straight. You can't have knocks. Uh, there's a couple of dogs that have very weak behinds. Those dogs will never work. You must remember these dogs work sheep, they work cattle, they work anything you want them to. So they need to run all day. You cannot have a dog that's crippled in the rear that's going to work all day. So that's the reason. And every time you breed or you want to breed a line of dogs, make sure that you keep in your mind what is the dog bred for? Is it bred to work sheep outside? Is it meant to lie on the couch all day? That's your decision. But when it comes into this ring, it's got to stand up and be what the representation of the breed standard is. So you keep that breed standard in your mind, then you know what you're doing. Okay. Never be too small. If you think your dog's wonderful and it isn't, you must then step back and say, why? Why didn't I win today? It's not politics. It's not any of that. It's because my dog just didn't make the grade. So, it's just a little bit of advice for you guys. Thank you.